says use the blocks to complete the addition equations. All right, I'm going to look at number one. We have one, two, three, four, five, six blocks. Okay, we see over here that that was the answer, six. It's saying five plus something equals six. So we already have one, two, three, four, five shaded. We see that there's only one more left over to make six, so we know that five plus one equals six. Same thing at the bottom here, but they shaded it the opposite way. We still have one, two, three, four, five, six blocks, but now we only have one block shaded. That leaves us one, two, three, four, five unshaded. One plus five equals six. Even without counting the blocks, I can see a pattern where five plus one equals six. If I reverse those numbers, one plus five also equals six. Okay, we'll do one more of these. Six plus something equals six. We have six blocks, one, two, three, four, five, six. All six of them are shaded. I don't need to shade any more to make six. So that leaves me with zero. Six plus zero equals six. Reverse it on the bottom. I have zero blocks shaded, so I need to shade all six. One, two, three, four, five, six to make zero plus six equals six. Again, with the number reversal, we have six plus zero and zero plus six, which both equal six. Okay, on this page, we are going to make a 10 in order to make adding a little bit easier for ourselves. So the first one here is an example. It says find nine plus three. We've broken down the number three into one and two because we know that nine plus one equals 10. Now we just have to add this extra two. 10 plus two equals 12, which lets me know that, oh hey, this is the same thing that I just did. Nine plus three also equals 12. All right, here's another one right here, number two. Find nine plus five. All right, well, I already know that nine plus one equals 10, so I'm going to find out one plus something equals five. Well, that would be four. All right, now I can easily make this 10 here. Nine plus one equals 10. Add the four, 10 plus four equals 14. There you have it, that was easy. Now I know that nine plus five equals 14. Here we are using tens to help make things easier for us again, but this time it's in order to subtract. So the problem that we want to solve is 15 minus seven. We'll break down seven into five and two because five plus two equals seven. Okay, I even have a nice number line to make it even easier. 15 minus five, one, two, three, four, five is 10. 10 minus two, one, two is eight. Well, that just made it super easy for me. 15 minus seven equals, that's right, eight. All right, let's try it again. 13 minus six, okay? This is our original problem, 13 minus six. I'm gonna think to myself, well, 13 minus something equals 10. 13, 12, 11, 10, okay? So I'll put my three right here. Three plus three equals six. I'll start out doing 13 minus three, which I already figured out was 10. 13 minus three equals 10. And then I just have to go ahead and subtract this other three, 10 minus three again, one, two, three, equals seven. That let me know that 13 minus six equals seven. Let's use a number line to solve this problem. Mirai sees eight dogs at the park. Some dogs go home. Now Mirai sees five dogs. How many dogs go home? Okay, well, she's seeing five dogs right now, but she used to be seeing eight. So let's move on our number line from five to eight. One, two, three. Here I am at eight, and that tells me that five plus three equals eight. If I go backwards for subtraction, it's gonna be the same thing. One, two, three. Eight minus three equals five. Three dogs go home, okay? Let's use a number line for this one. Ben has seven hats. One hat is red, the rest are blue. How many hats are blue? Okay, here's my one red hat. Now I'm gonna figure out how many hats are blue by moving forward on my number line till I get to seven. One, two, three, four, five, six. Okay, 
7 equals 1 plus 6. If I move backwards on my number line, again the same thing. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 minus 6 equals 1. 6 hats are blue. Here we're going to do some subtraction problems using comparing. So we'll compare the two numbers to find out how many more. There are six triangles, there are four circles. How many more triangles are there? Let's compare, okay? Those are all the ones that have a match. There are two circles, that, two triangles that don't have a circle for a match. So there are two more triangles, six minus four equals two. All right, let's do the next one. There are five squares, there are two circles. How many more squares are there? So we're doing five minus two. Okay, when we take out those two, we have three left over. Five minus two equals three. There are three more squares. Choose a number from the box to complete the equation. Let's look at our example first. Two plus zero equals something plus one. All right, let's solve this side first. Two plus zero equals two. One plus some number equals two. Well, one plus zero is one, that's not right. One plus one does equal two. One plus two would be three. So the one answer that works is one because one plus one equals two, which matches the other side. This equal sign in the middle means that both sides have to be the same number. Okay, moving on to number one. We have two plus one equals one plus something. Let's solve this side first. Two plus one equals three. One plus something equals three. Let's try our answers. One plus zero equals one, that's wrong. One plus one equals two, that's wrong. One plus two equals three. That's our correct answer because it makes both sides have the same answer. When you have to add three numbers together, it will usually be easy if you, it'll be easier if you choose two of the numbers to add together first and then add the last one with it. So in the example, you have seven plus three plus four. If you add three plus four together to get seven, if you use your double facts, you can know that seven plus seven equals 14. Therefore, seven plus three plus four equals 14. Okay, moving on to number two. It's asking us to find three plus two plus seven. All right, it would like us to add seven plus three together first, and a good reason for that is that seven plus three makes a 10, which is always easier to add. Now I can add this two, 10 plus two equals 12, so I know that three plus two plus seven equals 12. All right, let's do one more. Six plus five plus one, um, they want us to add five plus one first. Five plus one equals six. I have my six here. Okay, I'm not gonna say the answer, but if you know your doubles fast, you know it. Six plus six equals, and that will also be the answer to your math problem. Let's find the missing number. 17 minus something equals nine. We have nine shaded dots. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's see how many unshaded dots we have to make 17. So what we'll do is we'll count on until we get to 17. So the next number after nine is 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17. All right, now that we have 17, let's count how many unshaded we had to add. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. 17 minus eight equals nine. All right, something minus eight equals five. All right, well, let's see if we can find this answer. Let's do eight, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and I'll shade those in. Okay, some number take away eight would leave us with five left over. So let's say that these are the ones that we took away. These will be the ones that were left. One, two, three, four, five. How many did we start with? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, and thirteen. Thirteen minus eight equals five. 